Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. As you can see, this is my first ever 3D printed model using a uh, Corality Ender 3 uh, 3D printer. And you can see what's wrong with it. Okay, but firstly, once you print a 3D model, the first thing you got to realize is that you can rip off the bottom. So the bottom is just the base, which you can rip off. So it's not actually part of the model. So let's rip that off together. Okay, so I've sort of ripped it off, but um, you can see the dog is not 3D printed very well. So you can see what's happening is about half the face, if I can shine my light on that, about half the face is destroyed, okay? And the other half is perfect, so the left-hand side is all right, but the right-hand side, totally destroyed. And then if you turn the dog around to the back, again, the left-hand side is all right, the right hand side, something wrong there. Okay, so there's something wrong there, something wrong there. It looks very grainy, grainy. So I have done something to the printer and I will show you what I have done in a second if I can print a perfect dog this time. So I'm gonna print another dog and let's see if the quality is better and if I can get rid of these marks, then I will tell you what I did. Okay, so you can see the printing is done. So let's have a look. Let's turn it off first. The printing took 3 hours and 12 minutes. Three hours and twelve minutes. And you can see it looks all good. There are no more weird markings. Everything is good. Okay, so how did I fix it? You guys must be wondering, what did I do to this printer? So let's talk about it. If you guys have a look at the printer, you can see that horizontally the print head or the extruder as they call it I think 
is moving left and right along this axis and it's pulled by this belt okay it's pulled by this belt which is called the timing belt now this timing belt was actually very loose so all I had to do was tighten it to fix the problem so, so you just use one of these tools that came with the uh, default setup kit and basically all I did was originally it was not very tight okay so originally let me just loosen that okay originally it was about here okay so this was very loose so you can see if I tighten it now okay originally it was very loose you could loosen you could move this around and feel how loose it is okay when it's loose like that you can even see a bit poking out at the bottom okay when it's loose like that you're done forget printing it so what you have what I had to do was unscrew this pull it all the way to the right so make sure you pull it all the way to the right so I'm pulling this way pull it and then when it's all the way to the right as tight as possible then you tighten it okay so now after it's tightened you feel that it's not loose okay all right so that's all i had to do to fix the problem okay thanks for watching guys see you next time Guys, see you next time.